Okay, I'm at uh, Caffeine and Octane, um, the July meet. They've switched all the parking lots around, and it's the uh, July 4th holiday version of the event. I'm not even sure if I'm in the right spectator parking lot. I got my water ready, got my phone. Um, oh, I uh, modded my verse already. I uh, installed a nice cushy center uh, armrest, uh, plush leather with um, real feathers in there. Um, all right, I'll get some clips going. I'll try take a stroll through the exotics and the Fair Lady Z section, and um, I don't know. I'll probably just have some smart aleck commentary. I love the color on this M4. I'm not sure those wheels are stark or not, but that's all clean. It's a big crowd today. <clears throat> there was like a lot of confusion over um, the parking. Like I was over in this, they like, switched the parking around and it just seems like there's more uh, participant cars in the spectator parking than there should be. I guess the communication wasn't so great. Yeah. Maybe I should do an exhaust setup like this on my Z. Just long tube setters. Right up the side. Oh, it's a 5.0 swapped Cobra. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even realize this was recording. I have this old school T top here. You know, I still hold to this day that um, what someone with a 350Z convertible should do. Well, not. <laughs> I can't even tell whose car that is. <laughs> What you do is, you, instead of cutting the roof off a 350Z coupe, you buy a convertible, you rip out all the roof and all that equipment, you just install, um, well you have like a T-top fabricated for it, just thrown on top. It's not structural because all the structures, they already, like all the reinforcement for the convertible is there, so it doesn't need a roof for the structural integrity you just like do you know what i'm getting at just fab one up it would be legit this booty hits them high that booty hits them low <laughs> This dude's ready for the zombie apocalypse. He's got like an axe, his rifle. I don't know, so I don't know who would sit up top there. Maybe his little kid. Looks <laughs> like he's got some kind of backup weapon for when his ammo runs out. Oh, we got Starsky and Scutch. Starsky and Hutch here. <laughs> yeah, this park 
could have been organized better. We have like chains here. I'm not sure if we're supposed to cross them or not. But people are kind of walking up and touching the cars uh, there. And we got like a South American dictator showed up, I guess. <laughs> The best is the episode of Top Gear where he's in the parking garage and he's like, he hears the horn go off. He's like, oh, you do not want to go there. And they honked him again and he was like, honk. <laughs> that episode was hilarious. This Aston Martin here has like the hood venting that I need to install on my Z. I like to do something. I didn't consider this one leaving all that bracing in there but cutting the aluminum and putting like those vents on there like that. I mean, I'm sure this is stock, but that's definitely an idea for my build. I could also swap in a six liter V12. That's another route I could go. <laughs> yeah, we got the, got some creative owners out here. Full size body pillow. <laughs> nope. I don't think my wife would appreciate me filming those uh, cards on the top there. They like slammed a Volkswagen Beetle. Do they have to rename it? Is it like a, a Loeb's wagon? <laughs> it's a GT3 RS. <laughs> oh, but fender vents. This is what Adam LZ took out on Road Atlanta. This would be this would be a blast out there. I'm gonna try and down the Fair Lady Z section now. I'm trying to hunt down the Fair Lady Z section, but I mean, because I didn't see it on the way over here. But look at the crowd of people. I don't think I've ever seen this many people in attendance before. Hearing some random V8 revving in the background. <laughs> and the crowd, it like, the show goes down over there too. There's like a few thousand people here. Okay, what do we think of this Z? I love the bumper. It could be a rep. It's got some peeling on it underneath the contoured bit there. Spoiler, but then he's got like. It's funky wrap all over it. Oh, he's from Mississippi. That explains everything. <laughs> Seriously, what, I'm not sure what to make of a Z. Do we love it or do we hate it? Some Z's here. of a G. <laughs> oh, there's the hood venting I need. Steve's, oh, this is a bit more legit. It's got like a... Uh, Ducting in there. It's starting to get hot. I think a few of these Z owners have left. Good day for a convertible, I guess.
on the exotics. It's like an old Lamborghini, kind of like a mirror or something. Lotus. That Viper is green. Here reminds me of the Viper. It was like a ACR with that generated so much downforce that it uh, decreased like fuel mileage on the SUV hauling at like three miles per gallon or something insane. Those are some quality goals. Oh, an Acura NSX. That's clean. It's got like a uh, inky wheels on it. gathering around this one. I'm hiding behind some cars so I don't get hit. Looks like a track monster. Actually, I'm not sure what this is. I think I saw this here last month. If you have any ideas, feel free to chime in. But looks kind of like a kick car. Looks like that. Um, oh, that German one. It's just like this. Uh, oh, they had it on Top Gear like once. And this is like this tiny German company that builds insane hybrid cars. Yeah, if you know, definitely feel free to chime in in the comments. Just another shot of the crowd. This is like a different section of the parking lot than what I filmed earlier. This is the, uh, this is the Bill and Ted section of the show. <laughs> Look at all these like uh, Porsche Carreras here. This is a 95, I was just reading a spec sheet on it. Those guys are standing in front of it now, but um, we're gonna show you. It has like a five CD, five disc CD changer like in the trunk, which I guess would be at the front of the car. <laughs> that would, that would have been legit back in the day. I think I'll finish off this uh, um, video with uh, just the little super squad that's showed up here. Never had your car. <laughs> yeah, if you enjoyed my video, so feel free to like the video, comment, subscribe. Do your thing. Alright, until next time everyone, take care.